Hi guys, um, this is my TCA peel 25% facial chemical peel update. Um, let me see, when did I do it? I will try and make a little annotation here as to the exact date that I did do the peel. Um, I did what, how many updates? I went through I think six days in different updates and let you guys know the different stages. There were definitely um, some ugly stages and it was kind of a stay home definite procedure. The first day or two I wasn't so concerned. I mean you could have even gone to work. Um, first off I'm gonna say pain wise as for the actual peel my gosh like if I could have, <laughs> you'll just, you'll have to feel that for yourself if you plan on doing a peel. So let me do a disclaimer right off the bat again. I am not a doctor. I am not a physician, a dermatologist. I am not licensed. I am not a professional in any way, shape or form. I am just someone that is wanting to do my own TCA peels in my own home. That is all. Um, so I did. And am I pleased with my results? Yes, I am. Would I have done things differently? Yes, I would have, and I will the next time I do it. So yes, I'm going to do it again. Um, the things I'm gonna do differently, the things that I did um, wrong in my opinion. Number one, if you look at the video, um, I wish I knew how to edit properly. <laughs> I mean, if I spent enough time trying to do it, I probably could do it, but I, I'm not really great at that. And the time spent doing it, I just don't have a lot of time to, you know, fool with that stuff. So, um, but I wish I could insert it. But if you go back to my first video of the actual peel, you'll see that I went from forehead and then I went down and I went to the chin and I really saturated that chin and then I went to this side and it started tingling and whatnot and then I went back over the whole face and I really saturated this chin and I went over the whole thing when I used up the rest of the solution in my little pot where I put my TCA peel acid I saturated that gauze the um, gauze that I had and I just like dabbed it on that gauze was soaking wet with the peel with the acid so I really kind of screwed myself there now if I had left it just with one layer of peel I would have been I think much better off so that's one thing that sorry I'm reading a text um one thing that I would do differently is not do that, duh. And um, I really saturated my chin. I wanna tell you guys, the one thing that I ended up with, or a few things that I ended up with, you can see I have cystic acne down here now. I don't think it's because I did a whole lot of touching down here. I think it's because I burned the crap out of my chin. And I had a blister here, which is um, a blister from, I think, bacteria. I think I came real close to having some serious issues down here. It was very itchy, and um, to me, that's bacteria. To me, I don't know. I didn't go to the doctor for it. I did use a uh, triple antibiotic ointment. I used um, <clears throat> all the things I should have used. I used rubbing alcohol. I used, I washed my face with CeraVe. I was very, very careful. So, um, the, the, I am so impressed with my forehead, you guys, seriously, I'm so impressed. Now, before I did this peel, my forehead looked and felt like leather. I'm not even kidding. I've damaged my skin so bad from sun tanning and just being out in the sun. I tan very, very easily. So every time I go in the sun, I'm damaging my skin. Um, ever since the peel, I have been using um, SPF 30 only, but I'm looking for a 50. Um, 
This is the one that I've been using because the one that I was using was the Super Goop and it's really, really good for your face. It is the SPF 30 and I think they have an SPF 50 as well, but it breaks out my face. Most SPF does with me. Um, but this one's the 30 and it does claim to not break out your face, won't cause breakouts and it doesn't. So copper tone, yeah. Clearly sheer. This is the bomb. Seriously, I love this stuff. And it's cheap. It's really, really cheap. It's like, I don't know, $5, $6 max. So I use that every single day. I know that it's not enough SPF for me. But as for my skin, it's amazing. Obviously, I can't use a filter. I'm just filming. All I have on is foundation. Um, sorry, I've got an eyelash in my eye. Um, it's just foundation. I don't have powder or anything else over it. And it's a really light foundation. I should have shown you without the foundation, but my skin is great. Oh, these are like pimples. I hate pimples and I'm a total picker and I wish I wasn't. But um, I do have some scarring down here and I do believe it is from the peel. I'm going to show you. You can see it's kind of like little white spots. I do believe that's from the peel. So next go around, I will be really, really careful, but look at my forehead. I don't know if you can see from the glare. Seriously, my goodness, I'm 48. So the next peel, I will be, you know, kind of concentrating under here to try and get rid of some of this, some of these lines, some of the crepiness. And like I said, I've got that. My chin is kind of the problem area now, but I'm not too concerned. I think, um, I think my skin is pretty good for 48. I know I say that all the time, 48. I know I'm not old. But um, I'm very, very happy with the results. Downtime, like I said, is about a week. Uh, you want to be very, very careful. Keep your skin very clean. If you feel any itching whatsoever, use a light cortisone cream um, or a steroid cream. Be really, really gentle on your skin. Don't rub it. Don't itch it. Oh my God, that's the big mistake of itching it. That's what I did down here and I ended up with an owie that um, turned into blisters and that was, I was really worried. Sorry about that. Got a phone call. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much my update. I will be doing probably two more peels this year, at least one more. I'm going to concentrate uh, more on the chin and more under my eyes and probably of course again on the forehead only because that is where most of the sun hits me and but like I said I'm really loving my results I got rid of a lot of hyperpigmentation here um, a lot of like I don't know sunspots I'm not going to call them age spots but I'm going to work on this down here the forehead and under the eyes next time so probably a lot of um a lot of um, mostly like spot treating so I will definitely bring you with me so I hope you enjoyed this update and do I recommend the TCA peel yes but listen to that disclaimer and go and get a ton of information do your research talk to a doctor if you can get it done professionally um, I'm going to try and put as much information as possible cost wise if you get it done professionally. I believe it's about uh, to have the whole series done. I think it's three three treatments. I think it's about between $1,500 and $3,000. Um, don't quote me on that. It depends on where you go. Um, it's very pricey. So anyway guys, um, I'll try and leave all the information below anything that I find on it and we'll talk to you very soon. Um, I've got lots of skin stuff coming up and lots of anti-aging stuff coming up and hope you follow me to uh, come along with me in that journey. Talk to you soon.